But if indeed they believe that Dr. Baumia is not consistent with his vision, they should stand up for a debate. It is only through a debate that they can expose Dr. Baumia. If they run away from a debate, then they are the liars and the inconsistent leaders in the country. And Dr. Mao Tiopoku Prempe was there at the education ministry. He led the rollout of the free SHS. Somebody who was a professor was there and said free SHS was not possible. Today, she says she's a literature professor. Dr. Matthew Boku Prempe is ready to debate this literature professor. She should not run away. Even if you tag him as arrogant, we know you've done it to Akufuado, it didn't work. He is ready to transform Ghana with his arrogance as a running mate to the flag bearer to become the next vice president. But to those who are frustrated, the middle class, the working class, who are worried, who are feeling the economic pinch, I say this to you. I am a businessman myself. I know the cost of doing business. I know the challenges that we face today. But I can tell you, if it were those people, it would have been worse. Your worries keep us awake every night, and we are working tirelessly to address these challenges. The solution is not to turn back the clock. These gentlemen and women are the same old people who could not transform this country. Is it the Atu Is it the Setekwe? Is it Aseodun Katia? Or the one who is leading them? We know their track record. They have not changed. And indeed, in this campaign, they have not said a single thing to tell Ghanaians what they stand for. We say, under Nana Adudankwa Akufuadu, that we are introducing free SHS policy. We are bringing industrialization. And under our indefatigable flag bearer, we say the way to go is digitalization. What say at them? None. But as we approach the December polls, I urge you to look beyond the rhetoric. Look at the cold facts. Look at the progress we've made, even in the face of global crisis. Look at the groundbreaking laws we have passed, and let us have the hope for the future. Now to my party members. All of us, all of us, have had our own share of frustrations in the party. But the way to go is to accept that there is always a future for all of us. Fellow patriots, you may be a senior today and your junior may overtake you. You may go through painful experiences today, but there is always a tomorrow. As a senior member of this party once told me, in the fullness of time, all things align. Have faith in the future government of Bahumia Matiopoku Prempe. His Excellency the President is only one person. It is possible through his leadership he may have done something to hurt you. But equally, many of us have had opportunity to serve under his government. Either within the first four years or even in the injury time. Even for those of us, the injury time appointees, we are celebrating how much more those of you who had four years in government or six years in government. Don't give up. Let us work together and win more. To our parliamentarians, I say kudos to all of you. I thank you for your support through your steadfastness and resilience. Although we have 
a very tight parliament. We have a majority of one. You've worked so hard, we have succeeded thus far. But we have some few months ahead of us. I want to encourage you to please make yourself available to support the cause of government. Let's finish hard. Let's finish hard. There's a prize awaiting us. And to all parliamentary candidates, let me plead with you, enough of the reconciliation. Move on, fight hard, campaign, day and night. Go to every household, go to every household. We don't have time to settle disputes. Fight for this party the way you fight to save a sister. Fight for this party the way you fight to save a mother. Fight for this party. We need our numbers in parliament. In 2020 elections, in central region, our president won 19 seats in central region, but just 10 seats in parliament. That is why we are having challenges. We don't want that again under Baumia government. Let's get our numbers and win together. But we have done better in every aspect of the economy than any government in the Fourth Republic. God bless you. God bless us all. God bless our homeland Ghana and the new patriotic party. Thank you so much indeed.